Hey, it's Alex here from AlexFigures.com. Uh, a bit of an update on my rowing record journey. Um, I kind of missed last month's video and update. Um, what are we now? We're, we're mid-September, so I typically do an update at the end of August. However, last month was nuts. Um, what started out, I think late July through to August, early August was like really good with the training. Like I was just nailing everything. Um, good routine, good rhythms, uh, numbers were just, you know, going up. Every, every time I did some intervals, it was, I was beating my previous sessions. Everything was good. We had a bit of a holiday, like a three night little getaway planned in there mid August. And, um, I, you know, I was pushing myself hard up to that because I thought I'd take like five days off or six days off, which is what I did and it was great. I was looking forward to that. You know, I just felt like it was a well-deserved break. Um, my body sort of needed it because I was working really good. Uh, and then I thought I'd get back, have a week or two of good training, late August, do a 500 meter trial and um, do my video obviously. And, and, you know, I was looking forward to it. However, when we came back on that trip, um, from that trip, my boy, fell ill. Now, I don't know if I've gone into details here um, in the past, but I'll, I'll touch on it now. He's um, epileptic, so we're, you know, it's it's a lot of stress and whatnot. It's, it's horrible, but um, when, he's on medication, but when he gets sick, it's still triggering the, se uh, the seizures. So, he became ill, uh, had a high fever, so for a few nights there, I was, um, you know, I just, I just stay up with him, just on seizure, seizure watch, pretty much. And uh, so yeah, that kind of sucked. I mean, it sucked for everyone. Fortunately, the, fortunately he didn't have an episode, but I had like two or three nights where I, I got like one or two hours sleep. Um, so I just thought, you know what, I'm, I'm just, you know, my, my th five day off training can turn into a week and a half off or whatever it was. I wasn't too worried. Uh, I did try and come out for one session at one point and I was just, I was just bugging the body. I was like, no. Nah. So I was like, okay, cool. Then what happened because I wasn't sleeping well, I wasn't getting any sleep. Um, I then come down with a cold. Uh, it was nothing major. It was just, you know, some sniffles and um, a cough every time I'd go to bed, a cough. So that meant that I wasn't getting the best sleep because I was coughing at night. I haven't had a cold like that for ages, but it just shows how sleep is so important. It like just ruins the immune system. Um, and then because I was, you know, a bit phlegmy and chesty with the cough, I really wanted to get some workouts done because I was like, oh, I've got my 500 meter trial coming up. You know, I want to get back into things. Of course, I'd come out here and I just, it was just horrible. Like trying to row, it was just like the numbers were, I, I tried to do an aerobic session and like the pace I'd usually hold, let's just say 200 watts at a, 146 heart rate, like I couldn't even get close to 200 watts. My, my heart rate was just sky high. So that just dragged on and on and on. And I was just, I was just getting so frustrated. I was so frustrated. I was, I, it, was, it was really getting me down. Anyway, um, I think I got some weights in then and I was like, all right, at least I can do the weights. Uh, but I was real bummed about the rowing. Anyway, uh, I can't remember it all now, but it's, it was such a crazy few weeks. But then uh, my boy got sick again and we were, you know, we we're thinking, hey, he's, he got through that last illness with that one. Um, and he had some high temperatures in that as well, like, you know, 39s, 40s and that. So we we're like, oh, he got through that one. He'll get through this one. But at the same time, we're still on edge, right? And um, so the first night, yeah, not, not much sleep. And I, I'd, I'd recovered from my cold at that point. I maybe had one or two sessions. Uh, I think I tried to do an interval session prior to that. I, at this point, I realized I wasn't going to do the 500, right? And the interval session, I couldn't even finish it, like let alone beat my previous time. And I was so down. Like I was just, yeah, I was depressed about it. It's crazy how powerful um, the impact of training is, right? Anyway, so yeah, he gets sick again, uh, gets through the first night right. And then the second night, unfortunately, he had um, quite a, yeah, quite a severe uh, event. And yeah, we had ambulances and, uh, what not here and yeah I mean it sucks it just any other oh, I mean any parent with any sick kid just knows how horrible it is um obviously for Thomas it's you know it's 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 a bit worse but um look he's he's all good now um I then went into hospital with them and so we we're in there for a bit 
of course, the hospital, you know, like it's the place for healing and whatnot, but um, we didn't get into there till eight or nine o'clock at night. And they, you know, we were up till three o'clock that night. It was just a total, like, you know, high stress, no rest sort of day or two or three in there. And um, I didn't get any sleep. I just, I just, I get so worried about him. Um, and he sort of fever in there. So, yeah, it's just, it just wasn't fun, right? But, I don't want to get into that. That's not, not what this video is about. Uh, and I'm not looking for sympathy or anything like that. I'm just telling you how it is because um, it has such a big impact on my training, uh, on my life and health and all that sort of jazz, right? And hey, like I'm just doing this for fun. Like the most important thing is, you know, family and, and health and wellness, right? So it's not like I'm paid to train and, you know, I'm, I'm losing income over this. Like, it's, it's, it's what it is. It's just a hobby for me, isn't it? What was quite interesting, um, I weighed myself a couple of days after the hospital trip and I'd, I'd lost a bunch of weight, like quite a lot of weight. I couldn't believe it actually. I was like, oh my God, just, it just showed the stress because I was super stressed, you know, I'm, uh, yeah, I was, I was under a lot of stress. It's just the anxiety and worry of something happening and when it does happen, how severe it can be. Everything was going exceptional. Looking forward to a little getaway and a break, come back, hit it hard, do that retest. I was on it like, you know, couldn't have been happy with how things were going. And then like, it ended up being a three week, just total, just disaster wreck, you know, from a training point of view. Thomas is all good now. Um, you know, so we, we carry on with life with that. And um, I'm now getting back into training. So moving on now back into the training world. So what I'm gonna touch on now is, uh, I actually spent a lot of time rethinking my training. Um, I don't know what it was. Actually, I think I watched like a CrossFit documentary or something and I just saw, you know, those guys are, are absolute freaks, right? Like mad respect to those guys and girls, um, you know, what they can do and what they're putting their bodies through. And, and I was watching that, I'm like, man, I'm a bit lazy here. Like, you know, I'm not doing anything near the volume they're doing. I'm saying I can only lift heavy once a week and, you know, I need the rest and all that. And I'm like, these guys are lifting heavy and uh, every day, it's, it's crazy. So I was like, oh, I, I, maybe I need to do more. So I started playing around with some programming that had more, um, more weight sessions in it, more conditioning work. And at the same time, I knew my, my weight training program that I was follow, uh, had been following to date was getting a bit, wasn't getting old as such, um, but I, I felt like I needed a bit more of a longer term view, not like I couldn't just rely on the linear sort of programming. Also, I'd stopped all my single leg, leg work, like the lunges and, and, and step ups and stuff, because I had that tendonitis in my knee for so long. Um, so I was like, you know what, let's just build a whole new program. So all of those things came together, you know, it was like this big reset for me, right? Uh, so I started looking at 531, Jim Wendler's 531. I've used that a lot um, in the past, 10 years ago for powerlifting, great results. I was like, I'll work that in. Spent way too much time um, obsessing over this program. It was ridiculous. Like I was reading all the books, I was reading forums, I was drawing out all these programs and then ripping them up and starting them fresh. I was laying in bed some nights over analyzing all this. It was, it was stupid. It was actually stupid in hindsight, but that's just how I work. Um, and then I was gonna do this like big squat day and a big deadlift day and work in some conditioning work and, and, and try to get some more aerobic work in and do all this cool stuff. And I started like doing one of those weeks um, and it was just like, my body was like, whoa, there's a hold up, this is nuts. And um, yeah, and then I, I, I did all that and I was like, I can't, I can't train like this because I'm 35. Um, I just don't have the time to train like like twice a day or like do two and a half hour gym sessions anyway. I mean, it's just, yeah, life with kids, illness, wife, you know, all that stuff just can't, right? Like, so I was like, hey, that's not gonna work. And then also I, I like, I need that time to recover and I can't do two big lower body sessions, like a squat day on a Monday and a deadlift on a Friday and expect to still be able to do big numbers here on the erg and, you know, it just, it's just not gonna work. And I look back at all my numbers, I'm like, hey, I'm improving. I actually put a comment up uh, explaining the situation and someone said to me like, dude, like, why are you trying to change this again? Like, it's obviously been working great. And it was like, yeah, big wake up call. I was like, hey, look, I'm getting stronger on the deadlift. I'm getting stronger on the squat. I'm getting better and faster on the row machine. Like, why change it? So I dialed it all, all back and went back to the basics. So I've now built a new program. Um, following the exact same template as I have been following recently. So I'll run you through that real quick. Monday's my big sprint row 
session of the week. So that's when I, uh, of the month, yeah, of the week, sorry. That's when I do like a 500 if I was going to do it. But that's like my most important interval session, all right? So that's the hard one, you know, big warm up, all guns blazing, you know, that, that's the one that's making the, the gain, so to speak. It typically hurts a lot. Uh, Tuesday is my lower body weight session. Uh, now what I've done here is I'm actually using 531 percentages and programming. Um, I'm doing, I've got two different workouts. I'll do one for three weeks and then the other for three weeks. It's quite complex, so I'm not gonna go through it here, but yeah, there's, there's strength work in there with the 531, then some assistance work, and then some higher rep work, like you know, 20 rep sessions and stuff, uh, sets and stuff. Um, so it's cool, I like those. And I've done two weeks of that now, numbers are going great as well. Uh, Wednesday, we're doing the upper body as usual. Um, some strength stuff in there, some higher rep stuff in there. Again, if anyone wants to see their full program, I can share it. Maybe I'll do, put it on screen or something. Um, so that's good. Wednesday, that, that, and then Thursday is my aerobic row, um, you know, capped heart rate. Friday is then my extras day. So this could be more sprints if the body feels all right. Uh, it could be some speed work like plyo, you know, cleans. Uh, it could be some conditioning like big circuits. Now I actually did one of these last week, a bit of a, a circuit, which is what I originally planned with my Friday sessions a while back. Um, so I was doing like farmer's carries and some power cleans and chin ups and you know, higher rep stuff, you know, the CrossFit sort of stuff. But I was trying to target it, all, like focus it around my rowing stuff. Uh, and it was good, it was good for a change, it was painful. Uh, it was good for something different. Um, but I was quite sore after that because I, I then tried to take the weekend off, right? I was quite sore for a while because I'm like, well, this is all new stuff to me. And I thought about it, I was like, I don't, I don't need to be doing all this new stuff. Like my focus is, is rowing, right? So I should be focusing on that. Like it doesn't, I'm not, I think it was just getting caught up in the CrossFit stuff. You're like, oh, you watch that. I should do that and do this. Um, but like even the cleans, like I got up to I don't know, 100 kilo cleans, uh, nothing special. Haven't done cleans in 10 years or so. They felt all right at the time. But of course, like three days later, my lower back was a bit sore and, you know, biceps. And I'm like, well, I don't, I, you know, that could impact my rowing training. So I'll probably back off on some of that stuff and just, just try to keep that the Friday session as um, a rowing session or or I've ordered a, a sled, like a prowler, so maybe I could do some, some sprints, you know, intervals with that. And I've also ordered a bike, a uh, stationary bike, just because some days, yeah, like I, you get a bit sick of the rowing machine, or even as a warm up or a cool down, you just like, I wanna do something else. So uh, once that sled ar arrives, maybe Friday, I'll do some sled pushes or even pulls with a rope uh, for a bit of the forearm strength, because my forearms just blow out. Um, or do the bike and then what I want to do is I want to get a bit more K's under my belt from an aerobic point of view so then Saturday I might do an extra session whether it's Saturday morning or afternoon just come out here do 20-30 minutes just chill you know watch a video or listen to a podcast and just break a sweat Sunday will be off and then back into it Monday so that's a new program um, I've also started to take a bit of a deeper dive into supplements especially pre-workout supplements so I'm going to dial that in a bit more and you know really see if I can get that extra 1% gain there. Um, so yeah, that's the training, that's where I'm at. We're now mid-September, I have done one good interval session this week, so I'm finally like, okay, I'm back on online. Actually, no, I've done two this, this month. So I'm like, I'm back online, you know, back where I should be. My gym stuff is going excellent, like on the weight, so that's cool. Uh, I wanna do a 500, but I don't wanna rush into it, so I may do one. In the next week or two, I may not, I'm not too sure. So I also have some dates, uh, some races coming up. So end of October, there's Oceania Champs, so New Zealand, Australia, Pacific. Um, it's a virtual event, so I'll be able to do it here, which is pretty cool. I've never done that before. Um, it's a Saturday, so yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll take that quite seriously. I'm only doing the 500 and um, I don't know when it will be, like what time it is. I'm hoping it's an afternoon. Uh, if they live stream it, I'll be sure to let you guys know as well. Um, but hey, morning, whatever, it's all cool. But given it's with Australia as well, I'd say it will probably be afternoon New Zealand time, which is great for me. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll take that quite seriously. And I mean, obviously we'll be going for a PB, but who knows? Like, I, I still, it's still a big jump up to that record. Um, my current best is 773 watts the record is 853 watts my next attempt I was hoping to get into the 800 watt um, mark yeah so it's a it's a big jump you know to expect to just pull that off 
And I'm sure there'll be a bit of adrenaline with the competition sense, but then at the same time, I'm like, maybe it won't be because it's just me, you know, like here with a computer. Um, and so I might not get that extra, you know, competition sort of uh, performance boost. And in fact, it may actually, I may actually go worse because you, you are on the racing clock, so you don't start rowing until it says row. So if you miss time, you start, you know, there could be half a second there. So who knows? Anyway, but it's going to be fun. I'll do that. Then um, in February next year, there is the World Indoor Rowing Champs and they have a 500 as well as the 2K. Uh, that's in Toronto, Canada. So realistically, um, I don't think I'll go because it's just a massive trip. Like it's nearly 24 hours of travel to get there. Uh, time zone's completely different. Um, it's going to be winter over there, whereas it's summer here. So yeah, but you can also enter... If you qualify, I don't, and I don't know what the qualification standards are, um, if you do qualify for that, you can enter race remotely. However, it could be like a 3 a.m. race for me here in New Zealand. So look, you know, it's kind of cool. I'll think about it later on um, when there's more details around that. But um, yeah, I mean, maybe, who knows, who knows. And I could compete in Masters over there, but I mean, I'd, I'd go for Open just because, hey, Got to take life and things seriously, right? Um, there's no point uh, doing it half. Well, I mean, I just, yeah, I just figure like the the open. I, I want to be as quick as I can be and the best. So why not go against the best? Uh, the the top guys here are miles ahead of me, but uh, who knows? I mean, it's just all a bit of fun anyway. So yeah, that that's all events and stuff coming up. If I do do a 500 meter, I will do a video on that. Um, uh, it, pro it probably would be good to get one in before the Oceana ones in six weeks, seven weeks time. So maybe I get one in this month. Hopefully just, you know, just shave another second or half a second off and then yeah, just keep chipping forward. So, oh, so I'll run through some numbers real quick. So I have been tracking my weight and body fat for a while. Um, so that should all be going into an app here. So I should be able to pull that up. So I'll, I'll, I'll get that going so you can have a look at it. Uh, also, let's have a look at this. Um, so I've got my whiteboard here where I track all these numbers. Um, so I've been doing this since January or February when I sort of started. So you've got your 500 meter time. Peak power, which is my low pull, those are in watts. My math aerobic, uh, 146, what average watts I can hold. Um, how many PBs, interval PBs I get in that month. So that month was five out of five. Uh, my squat 1RM, one, one that's a calculated squat uh, figure using um, Jim Wendler's for, formula. Do lift 1RM. One R, one uh, ignore the vertical jump one. I've got to figure out a better way to do that. Uh, so yeah, you can see all these numbers improving here. Uh, where are we? August now. So um, it's been a couple months since I did the 500. Peak power, look at that. I just broke 1,000 back in January. I'm now, you know, 20, 22, 23% quicker uh, those are in watts i think it's like a 105 or something low pole so that's pretty cool i was stoked to get that um 1200 the other day that's just by doing my start seven big strokes um my math which shows my aerobic base 159 back in february 206 now so remember that's at 146 beats per minute so i'm doing a lot more distance um from a fitness point of view which is great um Interval PBs here, so August was a good month at the start. I was, you know, on fire, and then I slipped towards the end. I just couldn't finish some. This month, I'm, those are two, two from two, so that's good. Uh, squat 1RMs, heading up, deadlift, calculated max of 283. Uh, I've only ever done 260 for reps. But yeah, so that's all pretty cool. My body weight's up around 106 now. Body fat's up a little bit as well. Well, I don't know, I'll have to look once I get on that. But um, I've kind of just had the approach where I'm like, just get as massive as I can, eat, eat, eat. But then I'm like, oh, there's a bit of fat coming on. I should probably ease up a bit. So, hey, uh, it, is what it, is. It, it is what it is. But anyway, that's an update. Um, I appreciate all the comments and support, especially in the, the forums I'm posting in, the Concept2 forum. Um, yeah, and I know these videos aren't you know, massively popular. It's just something that I, I'm enjoying doing on the side. Uh, hey, and it might inspire a few people or... Maybe um, someone's trying to improve their 500 meter time and, and follows along and gets some tips and stuff. So uh, if you do enjoy it, let me know. If you have questions, let me know as well. 
Uh, if you are watching along and you know watching these when I'm releasing them, be sure to say hi. Um, otherwise, yeah, I'll, I'll hopefully report in in a couple of weeks with another 500 meter time trial, and then again in October with the uh, race results. So that should be fun. Um, yeah, we keep marching on towards that 114. All right, guys, I'll see you later. I'm gonna train. Bye.